Hey everybody, Real Life Digital Dotson here with a special little recording going on about what's been going on and why I haven't been uploading for quite a while. Because it's a big explanation and I'm going to explain why very shortly. Hey everybody, so getting to where we left off from our other day. This is the tower that pretty much was in a special recording that I showed you all my stuff. A Dell Inspiron 3656. This is actually the gaming model, which is extremely rare, but also a junker. It is an Indian processor, so a CPU, and a very junky graphic card. It went in for maintenance because OBS was having trouble, so I took it in. It needed major cleaning and all that. But to really set it up, I brought it back, had two weeks of no problem, and then literally two weeks of like the two week period, at the end of the second week, it decided to go down again or give me trouble. OBS updated, and we had literally two minutes of skip frames non stop. But you probably seen the video that was in. Now we get to the new tower. We actually are starting with the case. A Fractal Design Focus G. This is actually a mid tower. So technically, I could have put an ATX for a board, but I have a micro board, which is here. This here is a Gigabyte B4050M DS3H. This here is a micro motherboard. You see what it looks like in bed? We have a Razon 5 3600X 6 core Gen 3 processor. What helps it is two HyperX, two HX HyperX Furies DR4 3, 3200. This makes a total of 16 RAM, 16 mm RAM all together. We have a 1 terabyte PTI Express MD V2 MVV solid state drive. So that's a little um metal ending. Probably can see if we look in it. We have a gigabyte GeForce RTX 20, 2060. Not the super. Makes me a little mad, but you get what you have money for. Trust me, this really gives me more problems. We have a power fly that's not modular, but it can be changed out. But it is a, don't ask everyone for seeing. Power supply 80 plus gold, so it's a good certification. We have DQ fans. The actual fans for this case is actually temporarily stored in here. Because I may be able to still use them later. But I'm using this because I need three fans to keep them cool. And I need some adapters. Unfortunately. Now there is one more terabyte hard drive, three terabyte hard drive, which is a, a Seagate hard drive that's in there. As you can see, this is what it is all together. And if you look, there is the PDI Express that's in here. I am sorry if the wiring looks a little bad. I trust me, this would look better if I did have someone more professional. But you're going to find out when I show you some pictures that I did this myself. So let's head to the next part of this. So you know I said something about how I did the computer myself. This is me, one of my four pictures of my mom took of me putting this computer together. Trust me, the whole time I was building this, I decided to put someone on that was building so I could follow along. It was a lot harder than it looks, and trust me, I don't like playing code. But this thing was not the easiest. This motherboard gave me more trouble than I care for, regardless of what I did. This is what it looks like before the graphic card. As you can see, I was fighting putting the things here, and you can see the cords were not done nicely yet. But as you can see, I have a lot of the cords really tangled up here. Should have put some of them down here. I actually just yesterday had to put this back in because I did not put it in right. <laughs> yeah, my glasses is on. 
I had a heyday getting this in. It was a pain beyond belief. So this will explain why I meant I did it myself and I eventually got it done. In other words, it would have been done with her. So now getting to the part that I was explaining, this is OBS, Streamlabs OBS. This has updated a few times since it went into this computer, but the update that caused it to go, caused my tablet went down, caused it up. So down in this corner, I usually would get information whenever the skip. Well, when I was recording the last Animal Crossing before my tower decided to be a pain, I had two minutes of skip right down here. Skip issue for two whole minutes. And it was constant during the two whole minutes. And then it went fine. Which is never a good thing. The next thing is, as you see, you have all these things. It took me a while to get this set. So usually you have set ins here. That shows all this. Well, in my defense, I did not had didn't know this was all set up. It seems every single time this thing decides to update, it screws us up. So let's jump to the computer and I'll show you. So now that we're on the screw blue, I always keep my settings the same. My screen and my coin settings are pretty much the same. So these keep getting changed, no matter what I do. I can't record now, but there is an FLV setting that keeps getting turned back on. I don't know what type of any video software or player actually uses that, but that could not, that should not be the default. MP4, if you're using a Windows device mostly, should be it. And movie, M or V, which is what my Apple, saw, Apple devices uses in the computer, should be preset for that one. I don't know why I kept doing this. I use two tracks to do all my editing because one gives me the auto for me, one gives the auto for everything else. I always preset it to everything I have. I had to preset this, I had to get my audio set. I can always nuke those off to the side. So if you see over here, we have this. I can actually mute all these if I wanted to. I don't use them all. I use the mic, the lines, so two of the things they've been used. is stereo. Video output is pretty much wherever my screen resolution or the garbage capture card is. To be fair. And trust me, I'm still trying to figure out what the heck I did with the thing. But that explains a lot of the issues having elsewhere. Unfortunately. I have no clue why my old tower could not handle this I could see if I had like down here you can see this stuff like open and this is running fine or skipping nothing with that one in up and open it was overtaking the CPU which it should be doing half its work between the CPU and the GPU and it wasn't it doesn't really make any sense so that explains that part so now I get to do the next few things. So what I just explained, everything gone. As you can see, all my games are back in. I have all my programs that I use back in. Well, set two games are missing. Sims 3, all its expansion, and Ark Survival Evolved, and its expansions, the ones I have, and Survival Fittest. Ark was taken for ever to get in, no matter what I did. So in a way, you could pretty much think this was the, yeah, I was trying to record Pokemon while I go. This was the episode that we had the issue in. I have no clue what happened to the sound. Some, this was, these two were bad recordings. I had other bad recordings as well. I have issues to fix these. So in the future, there should be no more skippers, there should be no issues. The only time you're probably not going to see is when this tower goes in for cleaning. Probably ask the people at PC Go to make adjustment to the cable management so it doesn't come out ever again and look better than it does. But in other words, I did a good my job for a noob who really had never built a computer in life. Also fixed my dad's computer without really too much of a trouble. And I have no training in it. So with this video, I 
believe we've done a lot. You'll probably see a lot more. The next time you probably see anything related to my setup, it will probably be me changing out the screens. I am uh, then probably something going to ask. Do you have a webcam? I am sorry, I do not. The old tower cannot handle it. I'm in the process of getting more good stuff. In other words, this is bye for now. Bye!